Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a jumping frog from a dollar. Now this is a really fun model. If you set it down, you can just press on the back and make it do flips. Now I have a playlist full of dollar origami tutorials where I show you how to fold everything that I have here and more. I'll make sure to link to that in the description below as well as at the end of the video. Make sure to check that out. Now to fold this one, I started with the bill face up. But if you want one that looks like this, you can start with the bill face down. Now I have another video on this channel where I show you how to fold one that looks like this. Now I like both of them a lot, but today we'll be showing you how to fold one that looks like this. So we're going to start with the bill face up. Now we're going to valley fold the bill in half. So I'll bring this right edge over to the left edge. Make sure both of the corners line up, and then you can crease it down and then unfold. Next, we'll bring this edge on the bottom right and bring it into that center crease we just made. And do the same thing with the bottom left. And then unfold both of those and repeat those steps with the top edge. So we'll bring that down to the center. And same on the left. And then turn the whole thing over and we're going to fold this flap up on this right along this edge that runs across do the same thing on the left side now we can unfold both of those Next, we'll take this edge on the right and bring it up to this edge. Just like that. And do the same thing on this part in the center. And repeat both of those on the left. Now turn it back over and unfold both of these. Next we're going to fold along the crease that we made in that previous step. And do the same thing on the left. So it should look like that. These little triangles are tucked inside. Next, we're going to turn it back over. Now we'll bring both of these edges into that center vertical crease. So we'll start on the right, bring it into the center. Then same thing on the left. And then unfold both of those and turn the paper back over. 
Now, if we look at all these creases on the right, we're gonna form all of these at the same time. So to do that, just bring these edges towards each other and then everything should start to form. And as you press it all down, it should happen pretty naturally and then it should end up forming a nice little triangle. Then repeat all that on the left. And make sure all those creases are nice and sharp. Next, we're going to bring this point out to this point on the right. So just swing that flap over and line it up on the right and crease it down. Now we'll repeat that with the other three points. Now we're going to rotate this. Next, we'll take this flap up top and we're going to swing it over to the left, just like you're turning the page of a book. And do the same thing on the bottom. Now we'll bring this edge on the top right in to lie along the center vertical crease. and then fold those flaps back over. Now repeat that on the left. So fold these flaps over to the right, bring the top left edge into the center. And then fold them back. Now on the top, we're gonna form these two feet. So we're gonna bring these edges in the center, we're going to start on the right and bring it out to this edge right here. Do the same thing on the left. Now on the bottom, we're going to unfold both of these creases. And then we're going to bring this point on the bottom up to the center. Next, we'll bring this edge down to this edge. Do the same thing on the left. Next, we're going to make a valley fold. We're going to be folding this edge up. And the valley fold, we're going to want it to run a little bit below where the center of all these creases are meeting. So it'll be just below. I'll show you what I mean. look about like that and when I open that up you can see the crease is a little bit below the center next we're gonna take this edge and bring it out to this edge now there's a lot of layers underneath So the paper is really thick here, but just press it all down firmly. Like that. Now if you turn it over, we're all done. And then you just press right here on the back 
and it will flip. Now you can try to make it do a perfect flip. Or you can even make it do a double. And then another fun thing to try is to set a cup and then try to flip it right into the cup. But we are all done. Now, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.